If you missed the Zendikar spoiler video, do we got some news for you. Uh, with Zendikar Rising introduces a new mechanic, it is called Party. So the party consists of up to one of each cleric, rogue, warrior, and wizard creature types. Now in the new set, you're going to be paid off if you have a full party or members of the party on the battlefield when certain spells are cast. For instance, we have Tazuri, costs one less to cast for each creature in your party. So if you have all four of the cleric, rogue, warrior, and wizard, this will be a one drop for six. Linvala essentially locks something down if your party is full. Again, you have those four creature types on the field. Spoils of Adventure, white and a blue if your party is full. And Acquisition Expert seems like a fun little card. Opponent reveals number of cards in his her, or her hand equal to the number of creatures in your party. You choose one of those cards, that player discards that card. The more members of your party, the better this card becomes. With that said, I want to take a look at the cards in standard now that may go well with this going to next season and if we had this mechanic today, what that archetype would look like. All right, so after a quick search in Arena, we've gathered the members of our party. Those are gonna be Hero of Precinct 1, which is the warrior. Whenever you cast a multicolor spell, create a 1-1 one, one white human. Niambia, uh, cool card from M21, Flash, when it enters the battlefield, you may return another target creature you control to its owner's hand. If you do, you gain life equal to the creature's converted mana cost. Great for saving your key pieces in this deck while also providing an extra body to attack in, Flasher in. The activated ability is actually relevant, as you'll see, we do have a couple legendary creatures that we can pitch to draw two cards. Next up, our rogue is going to be Chevelle, Bane of Monsters. Beginning your upkeep, opponent controls no permits with a bounty counter on it. Put a bounty counter on target creature, playing walker, and opponent controls. When that permanent and opponent controls with the bounty counter dies, you gain three life and draw a card. Very cool little bonus here. We are going to be killing things. We're going to be blowing some stuff up. So getting that life gain and extra card draw is always welcome. Elite Guild Mage is our wizard. Flying ETBs gain three draw a card. Now, Hero essentially is the glue to the deck. I know it's gonna be rotating out, but uh, this gave us the most competitive build for the M21 standard. Elite Guild Mage is also rotating out. Uh, some support for them is gonna be General Enforcer, triggers our hero and gives our legendary humans indestructible. Also helps eat some graveyard for the decks that are playing Uro, which seems to be everyone. Kudro, same thing, eating the graveyard, buffing our humans, and uh, very niche but can be applicable. The pay to sack two humans, destroy a target creature. Last but not least, rounding out the humans is going to be Atris. Gives us some nice card advantage later on in the game while triggering hero, while getting buffed, and also indestructible from our support cast. Next up, Dovin Vito, helping us to stave off any of those pesky planeswalkers. Diatastic, we do have a ton of humans in this deck, so this is going to be basically free. And Assassin Trophy, again, all of these triggering those hero triggers. Mortify, as well to handle some enchantments. Uh, lands, basic, set up for a four color deck, have all the shocks we can play in two different triomes. Haven't run into too much trouble in the land in terms of casting things. However, the frequency of the lands was an issue. Um, may want to go up to 25, 26, but that's arena for you. So with that being said, let's get into some gameplay.
Alrighty, there's the deck. Let me know what you think about it down below and what you would add this coming season for Zendikar Rising to make this party deck really go off. Thanks for hanging out. Stay safe, people. Until next time, take care.